Hello Traders, Gary Wagner here. Just about 12 noon in Honolulu, 6 o'clock in New York. It is Monday, October 16th, 2017, and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Gold closing down, breaking below 1300 to close at 1298, putting it down $5 on the day. Silver also closing lower, 1727 off 9 cents with a higher US dollar up 22 points at 93.16. Traders, after witnessing gold prices increase by over 2% last week alone, today we've seen the market give back almost 6 tenths of a percent. Currently, we have gold which has broken below 1300, currently trading at 1297.20. That puts it down about $7.40 on the day. However, at the same time, it must be noted that we have come off of the, the intraday lows this morning, which sat at around 1292.50. We do have an active trade. We are long at 87. We do have stops right here below 1290. So effectively, our stop was not hit. The market has moved back up, as I said, to 1297. But this is still, to me, a fairly ominous sign if there is follow through tomorrow that we have seen some real resistance come into the market and we talked about the resistance level a little bit on friday we identified a 50 percent retracement and again this is a retracement of what we have been labeling as the second leg of the rally when we look at the 50 percent retracement which comes in at 1309 1310 we can see that that matches up with the highs recently today's high for example came in at 1308.40 also when we look at a very short term chart of gold as it traded throughout the last couple of days and we can see here is the beginning of today's trading day the 16th here the 13th the 12th and so on we can see that on a trading basis we do have an area where this low hit at 1292 let's draw our arrow across in which we have technical and historical precedents for this area being a supportive area we can see that here throughout last week as the market would track to this area we also noted that this was a level of resistance the 10th and the 11th of last week and then every time it popped up sellers came in the market moving it back down to this next level which of course is 87 and this is where we actually entered the market therefore my recommendation is to maintain our current long position we have our stop below 1290 those that simply want to pull profits you've got about a thousand dollars profit here you certainly can never make a mistake taking a profit in the market and that would be your individual call lastly for those that are trading silver do want to spend a couple of moments going over some of the support and resistance areas we have a clearly defined fib retracement sequence that goes from fifteen dollars all the way up to eighteen dollars and thirty cents we have of interest our current level of resistance which sits at roughly 1756 that is our 23 percent retracement area and then our 38 percent retracement area seems to be our current level of support at 1709 because we had the market track as high as the 23 percent retracement area intraday low today was 1713 so for traders that are in silver right now I would look at this particular area as our line in the sand, so to speak. And should this area hold, we would look for more bullish moves to the upside. But again, this is a engulfing bearish that we saw on our daily charts in both gold and silver. So we definitely want to be cautious. Traders, the intraday low today came in at around 1292. That, of course, was just above where our stop was. As I said during the show, my recommendation is to maintain our long position as well as our stop. The market did recover, now trading closer to 1300 than 1290. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.